Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Leader. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to use Stage Manager on Mac like a pro. Stage Manager is exactly what you should use to keep app windows organized and switch between them with utmost ease. Introduced in Mac OS 13 Ventura, it's designed to not only boost productivity but also keep chaotic tabs at base so if you have upgraded to the latest iteration of macOS you should master this productivity centric tool sooner than later to help you get started on the right note I have come up with 15 best tips and tricks to use stage manager on Mac like a pro that said let's jump right in before getting started make sure you have subscribed our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 reader first off i'm going to show you how to enable disable stage manager on your mac thanks to the presence of an icon right in the control center it's pretty easy to enable disable stage manager on mac to do so simply click on the control center icon at the upper right corner of the screen and after that, click on the stage manager icon to turn it on or off. Alternately, you can go to the system settings app and then click on desktop and dock option. And after that, turn on or off the toggle for stage manager as per your needs. Based on your recent use, thumbnails are arranged automatically and up to six thumbnails appear in the stage manager depending on the size of your desktop. Since its thumbnail displays a live view of its window, it becomes much easier to check updates like incoming messages without switching to that window. Next up, I'm going to show you how to move or resize the center window in Stage Manager. If you want to move or resize the center window, simply drag its title bar or drag an edge of the window. Do know that if a window covers thumbnails, they hide until you uncover them or move the pointer to the left edge of the screen. And if you put a window into the full screen, it will move to its own space outside of Stage Manager. Next up, I'm going to show you how to quickly switch between windows in Stage Manager on your Mac. Do know that when the Stage Manager is enabled, the app that you are currently using goes into the center thereby ensuring that you can use it with complete peace of mind and the other apps are shown as thumbnails you can quickly switch between windows by just clicking a thumbnail next up i'm going to show you how to use keyboard shortcut to quickly switch between the windows of the app that you're using it's worth pointing out that you can also use a pretty handy keyboard shortcut to switch between the windows of the app that you're using to do so, press the character key to the left of the number 1 and the command key at once to quickly switch between the windows of the app that you are using. After that, I am going to show you how to create a window group in Stage Manager. To create a window group, simply drag a thumbnail to the center window. Alternatively, you can press the shift key while clicking the thumbnail to make a window group. And if you ever want to remove a window from a group in the stage manager, just drag it back to the thumbnail area. Then it's time to learn how to drag items to another window in stage manager. If you want to drag items to another window, simply hold the item over a thumbnail until its window goes to the center. After that, drop the item into the window. Just in case multiple windows are in the center, simply hold the item over a rear window until it moves to the front and then drop the item. Next up, I'm going to show you how to send a window to the side as a thumbnail without switching windows in the stage manager. You can easily send a window to the side as a thumbnail without switching windows in the stage manager. To do so, click the minimize button in the corner of the window or just press the command plus M keys. Now it's time to learn how to hide an app's thumbnail and windows in the stage manager. It's also pretty easy to hide an app's thumbnail and windows in the stage manager. To do so, press the command plus H keys. Next up, I'm going to show you how to show recent applications in the stage manager. The thumbnails are hidden in the stage manager. Until you move your pointer to the left edge of the screen, you can choose to show them. 
To do so, go to the System Settings app and then click on Desktop and Dock option. And after that, ensure that Stage Manager is turned on. Then click on Customize and then turn on the switch for recent applications and you are good to go. Then it's time to learn how to stop Stage Manager from showing all windows from an app at once. Stage Manager displays all windows from an app at once. However, you can limit the Stage Manager to show only one window at a time. To do so, open the System Settings app on your Mac. Then click on Desktop and Dock option. Then ensure that Stage Manager is turned on. After that, click on Customize. Then click on the drop-down menu next to All at once and choose one at a time. Next up, I'm going to show you how to temporarily hide or show desktop items when Stage Manager is enabled. By default, Stage Manager keeps all the desktop items hidden. However, you can temporarily hide or show desktop items by just clicking on the screen. Then, I'm going to show you how to permanently show desktop items while using Stage Manager. There is also a pretty quick way to permanently show desktop items when using Stage Manager on your Mac. To do so, open the System Settings app, then click on Desktop and Dock option. Then make sure that Stage Manager is enabled. After that, click on Customize. Then turn on the toggle next to Desktop Items. Then I'm going to show you how to show Stage Manager in Max menu bar. Using the drag and drop gesture, you can easily show the Stage Manager icon in the Max menu bar. To get it done, simply click on the Control Center icon at the top right corner of the screen. Then drag the Stage Manager icon and drop it in the menu bar. Alternately, you can open the System Settings app and then click on Control Center. After that, click on Stage Manager and then choose Show in the menu bar. And finally, I'm going to show you how to create a keyboard shortcut for Stage Manager. Notably, you can also create a keyboard shortcut for Stage Manager to be able to turn it on or off quickly. To do so, open the System Settings app on your Mac and then choose Keyboard in the sidebar. After that, click on Keyboard Shortcuts button. Then select Mission Control. After that, double click the None next to the Stage Manager setting and then press the keys that you would like to use as a shortcut. That's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to use Stage Manager on Mac. Now that you know how Stage Manager works, make the most of it to enhance your productivity or for that matter, manage Windows like a pro. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.